Higher Secondary School, Shillong. Today, I will teach science to class 8 students. <clears throat> this is chapter 12 and topic is sound. Now sound, sound is a form of energy which produces a sensation of hearing in our ear. So students, first of all, you have to understand what is sound. It is a form of energy which produces a sensation of hearing in our ear. Sound energy travels in the form of vibrations through the air or any other medium. We hear a number of sounds in our daily lives. Sound plays an important role in our lives. Let us find out what produces sound. How does it travel from one place to another? Different kinds of sound. You see, these are some musical instruments. Tabla, kartal, dholak, guitar, trumpet. When the instrument is played, you get the sound. Similarly, you get vehicle sounds. Then, sound is coming out from the industries. <clears throat> now, sound is produced by vibrations. How we will understand? That is why we need to follow this activity. This is activity one. Take a ruler and hold one end of it formed on a table. Flick the other free end. You will notice the free end vibrating and producing a sound. Once it stops vibrating, no sound is produced. You can do this activity at home. So any utensil or any uh, suppose plate or dish like a steel dish if you beat sound will be produced and as long as vibration is there you will get sound once vibration is stopped sound is also stopped this is activity two take a rubber band and two pencils fix the rubber band with the help of pencil box and the two pencils shown in the figure. Now pluck the rubber band in the center with your finger. What do you observe? Do you hear any sound? Yes, you will hear a sound and will see the rubber band moving rapidly to and fro. <clears throat> this is activity three. Take about eight or more balls or tumblers, fill them with increasing level of water. Ensure that the increase is gradual from one end to the other end. With the help of a pencil strike, uh, each ball or tumbler gently in quick succession, means in a quick gap, you will hear sound of a jaltaram. Very interesting. Now, question is, how sound is produced in humans? All human beings have a voice box in the region around the throat connected at the top of the windpipe to produce sounds. It is also known as larynx. It is like a sound producing instrument or machine. Two muscle tissues called vocal cords are stretched across the larynx such that they leave a narrow slit as shown in the figure between them for the passage of air. The vocal cords are set into vibrations when the air from the lungs is forced through the slit. The vibrating vocal cords produce the human voice. Sound needs a medium for propagation. So here, sound cannot travel in vacuum. 
because there are virtually no molecules. So it needs a medium to travel. There are three mediums. One is solid, one is liquid and one is gas. Sound can travel through any solid like metal, wood, string, glass, etc. Sound travels faster in solids and liquids than in gases. Vibrating objects produce sound which is carried in all directions in a medium. As the sound wave propagate, the molecules of the medium do not move from one point to another. They only vibrate about a mean position. So what is a mean position? That means it is in a rest position. The mean position. Suppose you are playing in a swing in the park. <clears throat> Before starting the swing, first you have to sit. When the swing, swing is in, before starting, when you sit in the swing without any move, that is known as mean position. It is the effect that propagates and reaches our ears. Activity 4. Take a meter scale. Hold it near your ear. Let your friend tap it gently with a plastic spoon at the other end. Can you hear the sound? Yes, you will be able to hear the sound clearly. This shows that sound can travel through solids. This is activity 5. You have to follow this activity carefully. If you want to uh, perform this activity at home, carefully you have to do this activity. Take a tub filled with water. Shake a bell inside the water, taking care that the bell does not touch the body of tub. Can you hear the sound of the bell? Yes, you can hear the sound of the bell. This shows that sound can travel through liquids. This is activity 6. Look at this picture. A dog is barking. You can hear the sound. This shows that sound can travel through air. Activity 7. Take two paper cups or two small tin cans. Make a hole in the center and connect them with the help of long piece of string as shown in the figure. Hold one can or cup and ask your friend to hold another. The string must be tightly stretched. Ask your friend to whisper into the cup while you listen through the other cup. Can you hear your friend? Yes, you can hear your friend. This activity shows that sound can travel even through a string and can move faster by string that is a solid than by air or a gas. Now, working of human ear. So, in this picture, you can see the outer ear, middle ear, inner ear, and the other parts. So, how we receive sound? We hear sound through our ears. The human ear is made up of three parts. In the first part, the outer ear, the part of this outer ear that is visible to us is called pinna. The pinna collects sound waves and directs them to the ear tube. At the end of the ear tube is the ear drum. Let us go back to the picture again. See, pinna, then ear drum. Then, the eardrum is a thin membrane which vibrates when sound waves strike it and transmits the sound to the middle ear. The middle ear. The middle ear is a cavity with three important ear bones. You know, the ear bone is the smallest bone in our body. These three bones are placed in such a way that they move when the eardrum vibrates and transmits the vibration to inner ear. Then the inner ear is connected 
to the middle ear through a small opening. The inner ear is filled with a fluid. When this fluid vibrates, it excites tiny hair in the inner ear. These hair transform the vibrations into electrical impulse, which are then transported to the brain via the auditory nerve. And this is how we hear a sound. Now, characteristics of vibrations. What is vibration? It is the to and fro motion of an object about its main position. The three important characteristics of vibrations are its frequency, amplitude, and time period. So, to and fro motion. What do you mean by to and fro motion? When you play in a park with a swing, first you sit in the swing that is main position, then after that, you go back then you start swinging so coming front again going back this is known as to and fro motion so vibration the definition is the to and fro motion of an object about its main position is called vibration then frequency the number of vibrations made by the vibrating body in one second, that means in one second, how many vibrations you get, that is known as frequency. The SI unit, that is international system of unit, that means throughout the world, the same unit is used. The SI unit of frequency is Hertz. In short, it is written HZ. So it is named after German physicist Heinrich R. Hertz. If an object completes one vibration in one second, its frequency is one Hertz. So F equal to one upon T. Amplitude. It is the maximum displacement of the vibrating object on either side of its mean position. Then time period. The time taken to complete one vibration is called time period. Time period is equal to 1 upon frequency. That means for one vibration, how much time is taken? That time, we say it is time period. Time period is measured in second. Characteristics of sound. Sound can be characterized by the loudness, pitch, and quality. So what do you mean by pitch and quality? We are coming to that part, but before that, let us discuss the characteristics of sound. Loudness of sound is expressed in decibel, and this decibel, it is the SI unit of sound energy. So students, you remember it, the SI unit of sound energy is decibel and in short it is written dB. You must have seen that as you move away from the source of sound, the sound becomes weaker. When the amplitude is large, the sound is loud. When the amplitude is small, the voice is feeble. The following table gives an idea of loudness of sound coming from various sources. See, sound is coming from rustling of leaves, whisper. Suppose you are talking in a class, your teacher is present in the class, slowly you are talking. That is, now how much sound energy is coming here? So rustling of leaves, 10 decibel, whisper, 30 decibel, normal breathing, 10 decibel. But some people, you know, they have, when they breathe while sleeping, they produce sound more than 10 decibel. Normal conversation, 60 decibel, heavy traffic, 90 decibel, loud music, 
90 decibel aircraft engine high sound 100 to 200 decibel activity 8 place a ping pong ball on a drum beat the drum gently with the drum stick do you see the ball hopping up and down yes next beat the drum harder with the drum stick do you notice any difference in the jumping pattern of the ball yes it will jump very fast when the drum produces louder sound the ball jumps higher due to increased amplitude of the vibration therefore drum when it when hit harder produces louder sound now let us come to pitch the shrillness of voice is called its pitch very simple the shrillness of voice pitch is determined by frequency if the frequency of vibration is high the sound is shrill and has a higher pitch lower the frequency of a sound lower is its pitch you know the sound quality between men and women there is a difference women generally have a high pitched voice and men have low pitched voice whistle produces a sound of higher pitch compared to a drum now quality of a sound the quality of a sound is that property by virtue of which two sounds of the same pitch and loudness produced by two different musical instruments or people can be distinguished that is the quality of sound audible and inaudible sound the human ear can detect sounds having frequencies between 20 hertz to 20000 hertz this is the audible range we cannot hear sounds of frequencies less than 20 hertz and more than 20000 hertz such sound are called inaudible so less than 20 hertz this is known as subsonic sound and the sound in between 20 hertz to 20000 hertz it is sonic sound above 20000 hertz it is ultrasonic sound and this ultrasonic sound see very interesting dogs can hear ultrasonic sounds now noise and music sound which is pleasing to the ear is called musical sound for example harmonium piano sitar tabla violin flute guitar etc it is in the range of 10 decibel to 30 decibel unpleasant discomfort causing sound is called noise example blowing of horns machines in a factory automobiles noise at construction site etc causing sound is known as noise now musical instruments there are three main types of musical instruments string instruments wind instruments percussion instruments string instruments violin guitar and sitar sound is produced by the vibrating string wind instruments trumpet and flute sound is produced by the vibrating column of air percussion instruments drum tabla and dholok sound is produced by vibration of the stretched membrane now noise pollution sustained presence of harmful unwanted or annoying noise in the environment is called noise pollution just like air and water pollution noise pollution is also harmful major causes of noise pollution are sound of vehicles bursting of crackers machines tvs radios music system played at high volume loudspeaker etc you can see the picture 
harmful effects of noise pollution. Conversation becomes difficult if there is too much noise around. You know it. Noisy environment causes headache and inability to concentrate on work. Prolonged exposure to loud noise can lead to temporary or permanent impairment of hearing. This is very important for infants and old people. When the crackers are bursted, then it is very risky for them. Lack of sleep, hypertension, anxiety, etc. are some other health problems caused due to noise pollution. Now reducing noise pollution. Noise producing industries should be set away from residential areas. Okay. Do not play loud music. Avoid use of loudspeakers. Use horn minimally. These are the steps. Installation of silencing devices in aircraft engines, automobiles, industrial machines, and home appliances. Plant trees along roads and buildings as they act as noise absorbers and cut down on sounds reaching the residents. Let us recall what we have learned now. Sound is produced by vibrating objects. In human beings, sound is produced due to vibration of vocal cord. We also learn sound cannot travel in vacuum. Sound needs a medium to travel. It can travel in solid, liquid or gas. Sound travels faster in solids and liquids than in gases. The eardrum senses the vibration of sound. It sends signals to the brain. This is called hearing. The number of oscillations or vibrations per second is called frequency of oscillation or vibration. It is expressed in hertz. The amplitude of the vibrating body See, this is a very important point. The impl amplitude of the vibrating body determines the loudness of sound. Higher the amplitude, louder is the sound. Loudness of sound is expressed in decibel. Higher the frequency of vibration, higher is the pitch and shriller is the sound. A human ear can hear sounds having frequencies between 20 Hz and 20,000 Hz. This is called the audible range. Loud and unpleasant sound is called noise. Musical instruments are of three types. Noise pollution occurs due to excessive or unwanted sound. We must take steps to control noise pollution. So these are the points. So students, you have to go through the chapter. I hope you have understood it. Thank you.